Hello Superset Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to another big Romy at the 2021 Mr. Olympia comparison. In this video we are comparing this version of his to another leg legend of the sport, namely Phil Heath at the 2011 Mr. Olympia, where he arguably was at his best shape of all time. If you missed my last video where I compared this version of Romy to 2003 Olympia Ronnie Coleman, you can find a link to that video in the description. Back to this comparison, let's take care of a couple of things before we get to the poses. First, here on Super Setman we remove the backgrounds and set a common one for all the athletes involved in a certain comparison, so let's do that. Boom. Moreover, it seems like the lightings were quite different for these two shows, so let's try to fix this as well. What do you guys think? Like this video if you appreciate what's being done here so far. Thank you. First pose is the front double biceps. This is a tough one. Rami is wider and bigger overall, however feels details through the arms, overall muscle quality and superior conditioning gives him the advantage in this pose. As we can notice, uh, Phil in his prime had a great V taper and a more than decent midsection. Downstairs, obviously Big Rami dominates when it comes to the quads, but Phil looks much more balanced, having his calves at the same level uh, with his uh, quads, which present uh, better details and separation than Rami's, by the way, in spite of being significantly smaller. Overall, I would give this pose to Phil Heath. The front lat spread has always been Phil's least impressive pose, as in this pose, clavicle width is essential, and his dominant arms doesn't help him here either. His lats flare out too good, and he presents a ripped midsection in this pose, unlike Big Rami. However, Rami's width over uh, him is the decisive factor that makes the difference in this pose, I'm giving this pose to Big Rami, but this wasn't a total blowout as most of us would have expected. The side chest is interesting between these two. Phil is upper body dominant with those round arms and shoulders, while Rami's answer to that comes downstairs with that crazy side leg and also upper body with a more dominant chest. Phil in his prime is considered to have uh, one of the best side chest poses ever, but personally I like Big Rami more here. This one could go either way, but I would give this uh, pose to Big Rami. In the back double biceps, the conclusion is quite obvious. Phil has uh, one of the best backs in history, his muscle bellies and muscle separation are unmatched while Big Rami lacks muscle density in the lower half of his back. I'm really curious what happened there uh, with his lower lats because they used to look better in the past. Downstairs Phil is more balanced again, having his calves at the same level with uh, his great hams, quads, sweeps and glutes. This is an easy point for Phil Heath. Back lat spread and for the untrained eye, this probably looks like Big Rami all day. He is so much wider and bigger overall, however size is not all in bodybuilding. When we take a closer look and analyze the details, the muscle quality, the separation, Phil Heath becomes again the favorite. His traps look insane and especially in the lower region, he simply destroys Rami. Honestly, I think I would understand the reasoning behind giving this pose to big Rami, being much wider and bigger overall, but Personally, I believe Phil's balance, quality and overall flow are more important than sheer size. So I'm going with Phil again. Side triceps and once again that side leg of Rami catches the eye. However, when we look at the triceps development, it's not even a contest. Phil's lateral head is, thick, is thicker and more striated. He also presents the better shoulders and forearms. Thus the overall uh, arm looks much better for Phil. His chest looks better than in the side chest here and he presents the more ripped midsection as well. Phil's execution is pretty interesting showcasing his calves like that. This is another Phil Heath point. Abs and thighs and this one is gonna be difficult. 
In 2011 feel looked quite good in this pose, presenting a ripped midsection, a small waist and great wheels. However, his V taper is weak because of his narrow structure and he also has an odd 4 pack going on. Big Rami on the other hand presents a better taper due to his overall width and small midsection in relation to the rest of his body. His abs looked better in the past though and his quads could use some more details, details as well. They looked better in 2020 for example. I'm not gonna award any of them this pose, I'm gonna consider it a tie. What do you guys think? Most muscular and they hit this pose differently. I chose to go with the with these variations uh, they seem to prefer more. It wouldn't have been fair to use the hands uh, on hip for Phil for example, as his crab variation looks better and might get him the point against Rami. Once again it's difficult, in the most muscular I believe that the most muscular guy should have the advantage, which in our case is clearly Big Rami. However, Phil's round arms, shoulders and traps combined with his superior conditioning gives him a pretty strong case to take this pose. Personally I would go with Phil, but this could go to Rami as well. Bodybuilding is a subjective sport and when it's very close, Personal opinions uh, make the difference uh, most of the times. So as a conclusion, Phil has won the front double, both back poses, the side triceps and the most muscular pose. Big Rami won, uh, has won the front lat spread, the side chest, while the abs and thighs concluded as a tie. That makes uh, Phil uh, winning this uh, comparison overall with a score of uh, 5 to 2 and 1 no contest. For the hardcore big Rami fans out there that might get that might get upset with, with this result, have in mind that we're talking prime Phil Heath, one of the greatest of all time, while for big Rami, I believe it's safe to say that this is not his best. Let me know your opinion in the comment section below, also like this video if you want to support the channel, subscribe for more and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.